From canceled high school tournaments to colleges and universities cutting back and even dropping programs, Urbana University in Central Ohio closed for good in April, leaving their students as well as their student athletes scrambling to figure out their future. As Mark Kuntz tells us, for one Northwest Ohio native, his Toledo ties opened the door to a new school in South Carolina. South U grad Terry Horn enjoyed his freshman season as an Urbana Blue Knight, starting all 29 games for the Division II school while leading them in three-pointers made and was second in scoring. I had many ups and downs and um, I could have had a better year, um, but I was very thankful for the opportunity. Uh, I developed a lot of uh, great relationships with my players and coaches, so um, I was really happy with um, how the year uh, went for myself personally. But that all changed on April 21st when the university announced via email it was closing after 170 years. They didn't really let anybody know. There was no like rumors or anything like that. It was it was really out of the blue. Um, and like uh, our coaches and uh, I think the most of the Urbana staff, as long as well as the students, found out at the same time. So so it was all pretty crazy at first. A few weeks later, Horn had a new home, South Carolina Aiken. The Division II school reached out following Urbana's closing, and that's where destiny takes over. You may remember Horn's junior year at Southview, former Toledo Rocket head coach Stan Joplin was the Cougars head coach, and it just so happens one of Joplin's former Rocket assistants, Mark Vanderslice, is the Pacers head coach. You know, Terry called me at home, and he said, Coach, would you mind if I had some coaches call you and, and talk to you uh, about college. I said, yeah, no problem. And um, so there was about four or five coaches called me and uh, Mark Vanderslice called me and said, uh, hey coach, my assistant has been talking with Terry Horn. And I said, wait a minute. He said, you know, Coach Job probably coached him at Southview. And, you know, so we talked, we, uh, we, we talked and, and that type of thing and what type of player he was. And and Mark kind of felt the same way. And then Mark said he talked with Terry and his parents like everybody else. Um, it was, it was, it's really funny how that happened. But that's how I got hooked up with them. Everything kind of fell into place. It, he was exactly what Terry, what he was looking for. And Terry and Terry was looking for a school and looking for a coach. And so everything kind of worked out pretty well. I know um, from what uh, Terry's parents said along with Terry they were very impressed with uh, coach Vanderslice over uh, the telephone when he I mean over the, the video conference that he did with the family I mean it's definitely strange I mean not seeing the school you know before going to it but I mean with the pandemic and everything it's you know it's you know that's that's just how it is and I mean it's, it's kind of it's kind of tough but I've been able to see like you know different videos of the school like virtual tours like see the facilities like you know what it's like that the facilities are really nice so um that's kind of how you know i you know got to i kind of have an idea of what the what the school will be like before i go pacers have a rich hoops tradition with nine peach belt conference titles a pair of elite eight appearances and a division two final four berth in 2014. it is exciting uh i think it's going to be a challenge for me um because i love i love toledo i love uh being home uh, i got a lot of obviously i have a lot of friends and family here um, so um, that's going to be a challenge, but I mean, it, it gives me an opportunity to, to really grow as a person and uh, I think as a player, because there'll be less distractions for me. And, um, you know, I just think, I just think it was, it was, I think it'll be, I'm looking forward to it. There, well, we, we talked about that uh, numerous times um, when, I, when I coached him his junior year and while he was here his senior year. Um, I just felt like uh, that was one thing that was holding him back from maybe playing division one was number one experience because he was uh, he went to high school um, went to great elementary school a little bit early and that make that year makes a big difference i always felt like um you know if a school wanted to take a chance and maybe redshirt him that would really play dividends for him um, you know from that standpoint but i think the one good good thing about terry is i think he knows his weaknesses and i think that was a, that's a big plus as far as um, how I need to keep growing. I think my knowledge needs to keep growing. I think I need to get stronger. I think that was uh, one of my, the biggest things that I got out of um, Urbana playing was that um, I wasn't strong enough. So I think, I think just, you know, which is kind of difficult right now with the, you know, with everything closed, but just doing the best I can to get stronger and uh, just keep watching film and practicing as much as I can uh, to, you know, be, be in a good position to go down there and be successful. I always felt like if Terry, the only thing that was holding Terry back 
was just a strength factor. And now, if he was just being a freshman, that would have really helped um, in him. But I just think with his strength, as, as he gets stronger, he's going to be a very good basketball player. Uh, he's going to be more of a complete basketball player. And I just think it's just a matter of time. Horn will have three years of eligibility remaining and plans to continue his studies in business administration. At Southview, Mark Hoots, BCSN.